everybody, welcome back to Buddy Spirits and Cigars. And we have our infamous roadie with us, Mr. Bruce Fletcher. <laughs> so, uh, he What's up, y'all? He wanted to bring the uh, bourbon today and uh, all awesome. him. Just real quick, he's supplying us with his. Oh, uh, 906. Yeah, yeah 906. Who, I was going to do that one yeah. got the cigar oh, question, but it's cool. Yeah, we'll go ahead and give a shout out and we'll go again. Shout out to 906. Uh, 906. Uh, 906. Uh, Cocktail and Cigar Lounge. Uh, these are Nicaraguan box press Davidoffs. You're gonna love it. Um, yeah. They uh, they sponsored these for the show today, so uh, definitely will give them a big shout out. And we will have their Facebook page attached in the description, so that you guys can go visit them. If you are local to Fort Smith area, it's worth going. Uh, it's, it's it's a treat. You it's order. an amazing atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Beautiful lounge. Mm -hmm. High end has plenty of different wines, bourbons, uh, multiple types of spirits. You can get there. some Louis the Thirteenth there, can't you? Yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah, uh, so. Macallan Thirty. Yeah. I mean, there's. Do you want to spend a house payment on a drink? Sure. There's high end. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's not all high end stuff. They all have they have uh, affordable pricing stuff as well, so you can get uh, beer even if that's. We what have you Bush prefer. Latte. Start saying there you, you get a, you can get a latte there. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. you can. Uh, and a peanut butter sandwich, sandwich right? Peanut butter jelly. That's true. Yeah. They do have some great it's finger nice foods, and um, man, I'm a fan of their uh, black and blue wings. They are phenomenal. But uh, it's pretty good stuff. So you can have something to eat. Uh, they do <clears throat> entertainment and stuff on the uh, weekends as well. So they'll have some type of uh, band playing. Uh, nothing that's crazy loud. Just soft, enjoyable music. Um, cigars. Uh, they have a nice humidor full of uh, various cigars, so you can have uh, some of the cheaper end, more affordable, up to the higher end stuff if you want that as well. So, um, great place, and we will be doing an episode there in the future, so uh, you kind of see a little bit of what the lounge looks like uh, through that if you're unable to visit. So, um, we'll kind of do a little virtual tour through that to kind of show you guys. So. Without further ado, uh, we will let uh, Mr. Bruce talk about uh, this bourbon he brought. So this is a Milam and Green. It's only available in Texas from what I'm told. It is a, this one is a triple cask. It's a mixture of a two to three year old Tennessee, uh, Texas bourbon, a three to four year old Tennessee whiskey, and a 10 to 11 year old Tennessee whiskey. So are we talking about nickel or do we know or? Uh, that's not, yeah. I way. don't know that. But yeah. that's just the yeah. that's the blend yeah. of the triple cask. Yeah. People shit on Dickel, so but they were uh, two female distillers, huh? Yes, yes, they came is. up with this. So uh, famous one from was it Kentucky or Tennessee? Did you say? And then another one from Texas. Is that what it I was? I think you're correct. So <clears throat> very. I'm I'm kind of excited to try it. Mm -hmm. It uh, sounds interesting. Yeah, I'd never heard sure. of it before today. So. I yeah, it was a uh, Christmas gift from my best friend, Sean. He brought it up. He lives in Houston, and uh, he's hooked me up with a few nice ones from down there, and this is uh, the latest one. So, Well, thank you, Sean. Yeah, yep. appreciate that. That's nice. Sean, thank you here's for sharing you, my with friend. us, uh, Bruce. That's nice of you. Yes, yeah, yeah. Sean. Nice Bruce color. Mm -hmm. Does have a nice color. Pleasant nose. It's got a good nose to it. Mm-hmm. Carmen? Well, there's one that starts with an L that we've done before that has a better <laughs> nose. But that which we do not speak of. <laughs> that, that shall not be named. <clears throat> I think it's got a nice color as well. It does. It does. I mean, it's... After the seeing... Nice, I like the... I mean, it's not uh, something you'd wear as a clone, but it... No, but it, no, but it it's not nice. clone worthy, but it's got a, it's got it's a got decent, nice nose, decent yeah. aroma, yeah. It's got a nice color about it. Dude, it is crazy how those Glencairns uh -huh. swoop that up right into your nose. That yeah. is yes. wild. It's like they were designed for this. Science, you, you, again, yeah, coming crazy. through. Wow. Well, Science and bullshittery. Uh, uh, do love. Yeah. Let's give her a taste. Without further ado, yeah. as they say yeah. in the earlier episodes, yeah, where I drink up. first every time. Spicy or not spicy, Kim? Uh, stand by. I heard him take, he, he, he instantly breathed out like a dragon. <laughs> Go ahead and say it. Say, thing. Well, this is nowhere near the Russell Reserve uh, that we had. It's not on that level at all of spice and heat. So, no, for now. No I mean, in, 
mm. relation to that. Mm. Relative to little, that, it's got a little spice, it's just a little, a little bit, yeah, little, a little. little kick there. Decent, uh, decent Kentucky hug going down, but it's not, mm. it's yeah. not like the uh, some of the others we've had. What you say? What do I say? Maybe some. Yeah, you too. Um, <laughs> get some floral notes off of it. Yeah, it's not. Uh, not like a real strong spice, but it's got mm -hmm. some spice to it. But nothing just, that's, just not the, overbearing. Just, yeah, it's just just that's enough a, to, to make it interesting. Is that like a clove that I'm smelling? I, it's a floral note of some sort, but I mean, I almost feel like there's a baking spice. Maybe in there. a little vanilla in there too. Yeah, there's a little vanilla in that. I think. I don't know. It smells good. It's uh, it's not cologne worthy, but uh, it's good. It smells good. It's good. So, now that you've had you've had a couple of tastes, I'm guessing, mm -hmm. compared to the Russell's Reserve. Now, in this case, Russell's Reserve is the single barrel sass. Yep. The private barrel select? Yeah. yeah, I would say so. Yeah. I like it better, too. Yep. I'm just going to be honest. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, just in taste. What do you think? Oh, it, I, you see the bottle. Yeah. Right. I may have, I may <laughs> well, have tried it before. <laughs> but you didn't know what you were getting. You know what? I, mean, I didn't. Let's be honest. I didn't. So. In... Uh, most of that disappeared in one sitting. Uh, it, it's a, I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, it's not by far the best I've ever had, but it's right. very good. And uh, I, mean, it's no I would definitely. Here, it's not even in that ballpark. Right? No, I mean, it's let's, not. Let's, if you compare <clears throat> apples to apples, I mean, it's it, not there. When no, it's not. It's, but it's I, not even the same. I would definitely get another bottle. Oh yeah, I like it that much. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would have this in a backup because it's, you know. And granted, it's not a, it's not really readily available for us here in yeah. Arkansas. But if you got a hookup, which I do, um, you know, he's he's good to bootleg stuff from up there, down yeah. there. So. That's kind of the same difference as the <coughs> Russell's Reserve and and a little bit, yeah. Pick with the, sure. Know, I mean, you, you unless you're in this area, you're not going to absolutely not going to get some. So, um, yeah. So, Kevin, you want to start off the grading? Or? Um. All right. Let's see. Trying to think of what was, was the proof was, on this? Do you remember? I do not. I was I was hard on stag because of its availability. I think this is less than hundred. Yeah, think. I was thinking it was like ninety four or something. I, like that. I think it's in nineties in the nineties yeah. ninety four ninety six. It definitely 96. drinks like a, a sub one hundred proofer. Yeah. Oh shizzle. Um. <laughs> that reminds me of a story. But yeah. you, you tickled Ken yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. I, I kind of shit on uh, Stag for the availability. I mean, you took so, a hot steamer right on yeah. it. Yeah. So I got to do the same thing here. This is good. It's nowhere near, as far as flavor profile, it's nowhere near as good as Stag Jr. Yeah. But it's better than Russell. Mm. So I think I gave Stag Jr. a 3.75. Yep. Yep, you did. And that Which was, in all, my opinion, was a little low. Because that's your top low. Yeah. I mean, as far as yeah. taste-wise, that's the best bourbon it's one of the top three that I've had. Um, and it got a 3.75. Yeah, man. man, he's tough. Dude, that is hateful as hell. It's and the Russell's Reserve. It's a tough crowd on the like end of this two table. 2.25. 2.25. Yeah. Oh, yeah. did you give it a quarter? Like that. No, I gave it a three and a quarter. He gave three it a two. Yeah. Well, okay. you gave it a two. Um, I'm going to give this probably... I want to go 2.75 or three. I mean, it's good. It, this is if you have the chance to then drink this, you should drink it. Edge it to the top. Yeah. All right, he's painful, bro. Dude, I, know. I mean, I just what in the hell? I can't find it. And if I'm gonna judge Stag that hard because I can't find it, and Stag is Getting freaking amazing. Dude, I know. <laughs> I know I am. As they it's, say, if I said 3.75, this is 2.75. This man is saying it with his chest. Again, yeah. dude, hits. I mean, he's passionate. I love it. Yeah, 2.75. 2.75. It's better than the chest uh, out for Harambe. Now, everybody gets chest their, out. Everybody gets their own grade. You know, they get their yep. their own individual. But I think a sub four for the batch seventeen stack is just. It's it's all about availability. But That's, you you're taking off over a point for that, for something that is your top three bourbon. What did you What did you Rate it. What did you rate, Stag Junior? Four and a half. Four because and a half. of the, the the availability is what got knocked it off off points for me. Everything yeah. else about it was superb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. You're right. Proof. Yeah. 
price point if you can find it at retail is yes. uh is it's, great you know it's around 60 mm -hmm. 65 a bottle give or take so what is this a bottle do you know i know it was a gift but just i don't i want to say 50s same ballpark 50 60 somewhere yeah. in that ballpark that's so, what i want to say pretty typical yeah it's, it's, it's kind of like a boutique distiller right yeah. so yeah um yeah i mean if i gave stag jr a 3.75 because of availability this is getting a 2.75 what did russell get for you i don't like remember. a two i think i don't remember mr executive mr producer do you remember i think it's around two I think okay. it was like a two. Yeah. Two or three. You're, you're pretty much in your rating, but that's fine. That's all right. Somebody's got to be You know, tight. I think I gave it a three, to you're be quite honest with you. You're the hateful teacher that Somebody's, all the kids coming into the new grade don't want to get. You're Miss Gray, yeah. as I would say. Yeah. The good cop, bad cop. The one know who the bad cop well, is. Well, cop. Yeah, Whatever. Somebody's got to be that guy. Bad cop I'm going to give this. a lot of the time, too. <laughs> I don't remember what I said for Russell's Reserve. I will say that this is better than Russell's Reserve, so uh -huh. if I gave this a lower grade... Then I did the Russell Reserve. I was wrong. Ah, so now that's big of you. Yeah. Well, I'm a big guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you said it yeah, that right. time. I didn't say it. Yeah. You didn't have to. I didn't even laugh until I, I felt like I was. You know, there was some permission to laugh there. There was some permission to laugh. There you go. Always. Always. Yeah. I mean, the last time Dude, you I, guys got all offended at me. Because he said he's a big boy. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, the last time I said Kevy was well-rounded, <laughs> Mr. Mullet Man over here thought it was freaking hilarious. Yeah. So, Making fat jokes. Yeah. I didn't even make the joke. I just it's, laughed at the joke that was made. I, I mean, I'm, I'm but fat. Wasn't, I wasn't joking. Like, I, there was no dick. Yeah, there's no him. joking about it. I'm fat. I mean, no, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> It's the damn truth. I mean, <laughs> when I saw, said well-rounded, I hey. was talking about knowledge and wisdom, not not shape. size or shape. Yeah. Either way, Kevin, have so. you ever heard the phrase "skinny and happy"? Uh -huh. No, you have exactly. not. It's yeah. fat and happy. Yeah, it's fat and happy. That's why yeah. we're smiling. Yeah. Fat, dumb, and lazy. That's me. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm going to go with on this. Uh, just going down the line instead of going last, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go with a. Uh, I'm gonna do a three and a half. Okay. I think it's. I think it's good. Um, I enjoy it. It's not harsh. It has a good color. Good taste. Good. Good on the nose. Mm-hmm. Um, availability does knock it down. I would get a backup bottle of this if it were available. Mm-hmm. But having to go. Where in Texas is this? I, wherever. Okay. So uh, Sean somewhere. got it at Specs in Houston. What is it, like so, a four-hour so. drive? Ish. Minimum? Eh. Ish or more, yeah. uh, give or take a little. I don't know. So, three. yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna say three and a half for this um, is where I'm at. So, yeah, three and a half. It's a three, boys. That's mm -hmm. for me. It's okay. a three little, for me. A little too spicy. You know, I mean, it's 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 not bad at all. It's definitely better than Woodford, which would put it Woodford, above two. Woodford, not Woodford. Uh, Russell, sorry, wow. better than Russell, which would put it above a two. It's not as good as Stag. It was a four. This is a three. So, okay. I mean, going blocks right I now. I just I, it still blows my mind how you go below a four on back seventeen Stag Jr. I didn't. I said four. No, I mean just. No, I did. Oh, oh my God. Somebody on the, the, yeah. no, I'll name it any name. We won't say No, I, it was me. Just kidding. Buffalo Trace, I love you. Just make your shit available. And <laughs> From your lips to God's ears yeah. on that one. Yeah. I just, how can you, a whole 1.25 points. I mean, dude, that's a well, lot. I couldn't, give it, I couldn't give it a five. This is a scale of zero no, to five. I could give not it, give it a five. I could I not give it a five. I didn't give it a five either. Yeah, I, I mean, could, that's outrageous. Yeah, All but right. I, I, I at least dropped it. At least one point two five points. It's not a five. It was. It would never I be a do. five. It's kind of like having a pain that's a ten. If I can tell you that my pain's a ten, it's not a fucking ten. It ain't a ten. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty Eight. damn bad, but it ain't a ten. F bomb there. Yeah. Bleep bleep. Sorry. Send but. the cooking guy that, yeah. please. Mm-hmm. Shots out. No, I'm no, passionate so, about certain things. No, and that's fine. I, and I the pain do. scale's but, one of them. Yes. But, yes, it is. Well, <laughs> it's not a scale of, of <laughs> one to ten. This is a zero five. So you're already restricting in itself. And then when you, just because of availability, there was nothing else about it you did not like. You're right. 
other than the availability. And a one point two five. Well, <laughs> it, it, it would never be. <laughs> it's not a one point two five. It, it go, could never be a five because it's not perfect. It's you guys want to go to Fist City in the garage for a minute or yeah. something? I mean, <laughs> no, no, there's no sense in that. Oh, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. mad. Okay, no, I'm just passionately explaining that it could never be a five. <laughs> There's well, to me, a five is something, you're saying something cannot be improved upon. Exactly. So, I agree. It right. is not a five. It may be a 4.95. But that's not a five. Exactly. I'm so, with you 100%. But on the scale, on a whole 1.25, just because of availability, that's harsh. Dude, if, it, if you make something that damn good... Yes. <laughs> and I can't get it. And that's why it should be higher than 3.75. No. It's that good. It's that good, but I can't get, if I can't get it, it does, it's not any good because just I can't get it. poking the bear. <laughs> so, poke, 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 yeah. poke. Just keep on What's poking. What say you as far as numbers? Well, I like it. <laughs> I was like, what are they trying? <laughs> Moving along. I, I'm going to give it a good solid four. Huh? I, I like, like it. it. Mm-hmm. I like the nose, I like the mouthfeel, I like the burn, and it's not impossible for me to get. Yeah. Well, and and so, in availability, it really shouldn't be a 1.25 points off anyway, right? Right. That's a, that's a point off for me because, you know. But you get that stick out of your hand. <laughs> or out of your ass. I mean, <laughs> stir him, boy. Stir the pot. Just make sure you stir away from me. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> but I like it. Uh, I think a solid four. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's, it's a good bourbon. It's it's a, it's a good pour. I would have it again. So, but the availability, man. Yeah, just, I mean that's. Come to the house. We'll kill the rest uh, of that bottle. Yeah, yeah. So what uh, what did you bring for us to smoke today? The you know the well hold on the one bad yeah, thing about ahead. this yeah is that the what part of Texas is this thing built? Uh, you know? No, well, I have no idea where the distillery is. Because if it's in fucking Austin. Gosh, so man! Uh, <laughs> like an episode of Cops down there on that end. I think I think maybe your mama has every right to be mad at your potty mouth. Well, I've got one. I mean, but all I can say, if it's from Austin, then it's going to lose another point. And right there, all right. I feel, I feel like the, I feel like the ladies that did this are probably not in Austin. Well, I hope not, but. Yeah. If they are, because I feel like there'd be a rainbow label on it if there was. Dude, Austin was a sweet ass city to spend some time in. Yeah. It was awesome. I I used to be. Austin's great. I'm sure. Don't California or Texas. Now that is a real thing right there. You can't do that to a cool place. But it I'm was just super cool. I mean, Austin may be great, except for it's kind of like you know, it can't be a five because of one thing. <laughs> University of Texas at Austin, the Longhorns. Yeah. Now that yeah. one you can yeah. take 1.25 points off. Of. I Absolutely. Can take more than that because uh, it's yeah. yeah. So, so, what are you rating, Austin? Scale of zero to five. Never been there, so I'm giving it a zero. Because, Damn, because you know who has been there? University of Texas at Austin. <laughs> so, yeah, Vince Young, yeah. Yeah. Colt McCoy. Hell yeah, yeah. Earl Campbell. Yeah. My buddy Dylan, really from right now. previous episodes, he is an OU Sooners fan <laughs> to the core. <laughs> yeah. Tuck Texas. There, that's better hey. than yeah. Beep. Hey. Beep. Hey. Yeah. Beep. No, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> There's like construction zone over here. I mean, there used to be so many beeps. <laughs> There's large equipment backing up. <laughs> okay. Are oh, you making another fat joke? Oh my God! <laughs> you, <laughs> you sizest son of a bitch. Yes. Well, you're an ageist, so uh, you are. I won't deny that. Sure. I'm a little bit on, yeah. you know, a yeah. little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Well, a lot of it. Calling me a boomer. You're a boomer, dude. Boomer. You're a boomer out of okay. You know, boomer cigars, dude. cigars, <laughs> Nicaraguan <laughs> box press. This is the Davidoff Nicaraguan box press Toro from 906. Is, thank you. This is a Definitely. Nicaraguan Puro. What that means is the wrapper, binder, and filler are all Nicaraguan tobacco. So anytime you see a cigar that's a Puro, Puro, that means that all the tobacco is from the same place. Okay. So, and. The great thing about, to me, Nicaraguan tobacco is, by and large, I like it. That's my favorite tobacco. Um, it's hard to beat. The, the soil content in all four of the regions is primo for growing tobacco. Um, you've got Condega in Jalapa, which we talked about before. Esteli is a very dark soil. Uh, it makes a lot of good wrapper leaf there. And then there's the island of Omotepe, which is actually on a active volcano oh. is very 
very dark, nitrate rich soil. It makes a very good, region, very it? good tobacco. Yeah, there's like 27, 23, 27 volcanoes in Nicaragua. Flying, this, flying in on one of the tours, one of them was smoking pretty good. Nice. I was kind of a little concerned about that. But thank well, God it's way yeah. away from us. Anyway, uh, by and large, Nicaraguan tobacco does yield a spicier flavor. Mm. Uh, I, I like it. It's, it's to me, and Davidoff is, is a good brand and they've got a lot of good stuff. Most of it is pretty mild. Uh, until you get into the Nicaraguan or the Escurio or Yamasa or even the late hours, uh, which are aged in Scotch cask, uh, very good, more f more full, more medium to full flavor. That Churchill late hour, the yeah, whoa, that is yeah, a, those are legit, that, those that are legit a, cigars. That is a good cigar. And since you're venturing off into the Dawood offline, if yeah. you haven't had one of those, yeah. You need to try those. You yes, need, yeah. without a doubt. So to go from White Owl to Davidoff? <laughs> hey, baby, I mean, we're a on a glow set, up or right? something. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So the draw on this is, is tighter than than the, the last Stuggy we had, the crew, mm -hmm. the Crux. Yeah, that bad boy, the Crux, smoked like a freight train. I mean, it just... Oof. It was it's pretty nice good. Easy. Yeah. You didn't care for it. I didn't care for it. What do you think about this one compared uh, to that? It's better, I think. I, so is it... This has kind of like a flat edge. It's, is that because it's a box press? Yeah, these are box press. Yeah, now, so. they make the uh, Nicaragua comes in regular. They have a diadema, which is a, a longer, it's kind of almost a torpedo-like. They have a Toro Robusto and all that. Um, I like the box press better. Mm -hmm. I just It's easier to smoke. It's easier to hold. Not like I have difficulty holding yeah. a regular one. It's just, it's just a little more comfortable. Yeah. And with a box press, there's a little bit less of the filler because they put the cigar in a press mm -hmm. and put press a... It, well, it goes in a mold and then... It goes in a mold and it's, press. it's uh -huh. pressed down with pressure and that way it's flat on two sides. Yeah. That's how they do that. Um, I, I just like, like the way it compresses yeah. the tobacco a little bit. So I like the way it's a little bit less of the filler, but the way it compresses it, I like the way it burns. I like I think the way it, it burns feels better. in my hand. I mean, it just... Yeah. There's, you're right, you can hold on to it better. It's just, I like the way that it feels in my hand. Take that for what you want. Briefly, going back to volcanoes smoking, when I got to go to Italy a few years ago, we went to Mount Vesuvius, which is the volcano that buried Pompeii, and the folks that work there that's and study. Myth. That's an urban legend. Push off to you. That's a conspiracy. I won't indulge that. Yeah. Um, the folks that study it say, from what they've read from you know people that were studying Pompeii and Vesuvius way back then when the mountain exploded they say it's doing a lot of the same stuff now and you can actually see it smoking yeah there's a lot so, of seismic activity around there so lots of things were lost in Pompeii right oh god here we go with the moon thing what I'm saying is continuously there are people working at NASA you're telling me continuously they're like oh shit we lost the moon technology oh god it was a Tuesday and then Wednesday they showed up to the office and they're like holy shit Tuesday's knowledge is gone. No, I'm saying that they quit landing on the moon in what, like, oh early 70s? Thing. Here we go again. Mm -hmm. you, you, Stanley you can Kubrick get fake filmed moon rock it on in, eBay, in Utah. by the way. What's, I'm sorry. You can get fake moon rock on eBay. Well, I'm sure you does can. Does it say just, fake moon rock or does it say moon rock? It's just fake moon rock. Damn it. It's the same thing as moon rock. If you, if you buy a moon rock and you buy a fake moon rock, it's the same rock. Hmm. I'm it, just saying. It's not. They filmed that in Utah. Okay. Maybe New Mexico. Okay. Maybe Nevada. How about Arizona? Maybe Arizona. What I'm saying is... How about the Sahara? They went to a desert region in the U.S. and they filmed that landscape. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's your belief. I believe the world's flat. Kind of like the cigar oh, on one side. Oh, the speaking of flat earthers, <laughs> you know, flat earthers have one thing to fear and that's fear itself. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if Sphere, I feel like if the world was flat, Sphere cats itself. would have knocked everything off of it. By oh now. You're absolutely right. God, I, don't believe, you know. I don't believe that the world is flat. <laughs> I just you know want to. I, you know you're talking about the studying and stuff. You know like you were talking about over there, people doing the studies and stuff. Did you know like people in Athens, they go to bed in the mornings. No. Apparently, dawn is tough on Greece. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. 
on a, on a, geo, <laughs> on a geopolitical note, if Iran attacked Iraq from behind, would Greece help? <laughs> <laughs> so that's oh, all the time we have no, for this episode man. we appreciate Thankfully. you guys tuning in for, uh, with us once again and uh, can, we are growing in subscribers and that is because of you thank you so much for joining us and supporting us we really do appreciate it be sure to hit that like button and invite subscribe. your friends to subscribe to our channel. Yeah. We are still who trying to grow. Who doesn't like cheeky shenanigans over cigars and booze? Well, Man, exactly. I, mean, I, mean, I don't get it. Like, what subscribe, share. LSS. Please. Uh, and uh, we're going to continue posting on our Facebook. And we seem to have... LSS BSC. We seem That's to have... That's what I'm talking about, baby. Twice as many subscribers on Facebook versus YouTube. We're trying to grow our YouTube numbers to at least be equal or even surpass our Facebook. So if you're one of them folks, you get right on over to that YouTube, you get right on over to it and you LSSBSC. So that is a uh, uh, challenge to you guys. Yeah, so I like it. Uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna do a gigantic giveaway at 200 subscribers. So help us get there and we'll do the giveaway and you guys will like it. So. We and we promise you. not to make it mellow corn. Yes, no, it will, will not, not be mellow, be mellow corn. corn. Unless that's all you pick. House. If you want to pick that, that's perfectly Don't fine. Don't do that. We You're have not plenty. funny. That's not a sense of humor if you do that. We have plenty to give. Yes. If that's what you want. Yeah. So, because I don't we think can't any sell of us are going to touch that bottle. It must be 21. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. Yes. So, Freak. anyways, we can't sell it. And we appreciate we could it. Not sell it. Thank you very much, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.